Making your own jewelry is easier than you think. As a matter of fact, I'd like to say it's super simple, but you have to have the right tools to get started. So let me walk you through that process, okay? Because it is important, and once you have the right tools, you're good to go. Okay, first of all, when it comes to jewelry and jewelry kits, everything you need in the kit is provided. So first of all, pick up a kit. If you've never made jewelry before, pick up a kit that has everything you need for the findings, the beads, the clips, the wires, everything. That will be in the kit, everything but the tools. That is actually the easiest way to begin, okay? This particular kit right here, look at this. When you're finished, you'll end up with something like this. How gorgeous is that? Everything's in there, super simple. This kit, same thing. Everything's in there, look at that. All these little pieces, the wire, the clasp, everything you need is already in the kit. Now, the tools are probably just as important as the beads, okay? So let me just show you some of the basic tools that you're gonna need. Um, this is a nice little kit here that I really like. It comes all contained in this little folder here, keeps everything there. And the reason why this is a great kit is because it has this bead sizer tool. It has this little tool right here that will clean out a bead, you know, a bead that's already been pre-drilled and sometimes things get stuck. This will allow you to clean that bead out so you can string it. This is a pair of needle nose, flat nose pliers with a little nipper right here round nose pliers, little nippers, and then this is a jump ring ring, okay? And you need one of these, and I'll show you why in another segment, but these are the basic tools. Another tool that you wanna pick up is a pair of crimpers, and crimpers will allow you to crimp together a wire, so that this particular wire right here is holding this toggle, and you need to beat it and crimp it together and secure it, and that way you can hold your toggle in place. So a crimper, really, really important. Something else that is important are your findings. So if you don't pick up a kit and you wanna start from scratch, then you're gonna need all of the right findings. And these findings are, um, pretty much the basics for just about any project that you might need, whether it's making earrings or a necklace or whatever. But all of the little findings come in here. This this side is gold, this side is copper. This, this little kit right here is uh, silver and then it has these little trays in here where you can store some of your new findings. But um, a great way to get started. The other must have tool is a bead board. And let me tell you, you will thank me later once you have one of these because what this does, it is it helps you stay organized. You can put some of your findings in these little trays over here. You can lay out the pieces that you're working on. You can lay out your design here. There's two different little trays here. So if you're doing a multi-strand necklace or bracelet, then it allows you to lay it out and bead along here so you can see what your design looks like before you crimp it. And then it allows you little little um, niches here to put some of your other beads in so that everything is available. And what I love about it is that if you're not finished with your project, all you have to do is close it up like that and you're good to go. So it'll be ready to go the next time you are. One more thing that will help you stay organized is a nice little organizing tray like this. I love this. And it has little little slots here so you can organize it however you like in any different shape. So if you have some large beads that you wanna save, you can make your containers a little bit bigger. But this will keep everything in its place. So between these two right here, your crimper and your tools. Oh, one more thing, pocket guide. Great idea to have, so this will give you some different ideas for stringing, tying knots, adding other types of beads, and then this book right here is, I have to tell you, kind of a must have. Even though I've made jewelry before, there's certain techniques I forget, and this allows me to go back in and refresh my memory with some great close-up pictures and some different design ideas. So I bundled everything together for you. All you have to do is visit the website, It'll take you right there with some instructions and some tips and a place to go to buy everything all in a bundle. All right, happy crafting.